You want to roast battle me? <laughs> yeah, you look like you jack off the pizzas come out of the oven videos. Hey, sit down, you fucking gender neutral AC Slater. This nigga. Funeral home director, get your dumb ass on, nigga. You got shorts, nigga. I told you I'm gonna do a Q and A. I'm answering like ten questions. I like to be personal with my fans. I'll never, I'll never be a Hollywood ass nigga. And a lot of times, I'll always be a country pickup truck driving nigga. I promise you, bro. With a goddamn Confederate flag tattoo on my back. Yeah, you, that's one of my only fans. <laughs> All right, I'll take like 10 questions. Where's old boy who had that first question? Let her leave, bro. You, there's, how far are you from USF? <laughs> they just had graduation. There's a lot of girls with $60,000 in debt that would love a hardworking man like you. Let her leave, dog. Upgrade to a 2022 model, nigga. Answer, ask your question, buddy. I, I've been with her for 20 years. I can't say it. She said she wants to leave. I don't give a fuck. Did you not hear what I just said? <laughs> Ma'am, let your husband ask that question. He may never get this opportunity again. Like, ask your question, buddy. No. Go ahead. Oh, uh, you fucking beta male. I can't believe he came to my show. It's Mother's Day, not Mama's Day. All right, fuck it. We'll come back to you when you get your balls together. How much weed does Joe Rogan smoke? Uh, no, Joe Rogan's not a lightweight. Joe Rogan probably smokes two, three, four Cali blunts before he go on stage. I don't, I don't think anybody can outsmoke Rogan. Like, a person that does psychedelics, I think he can hang with Snoop Dogg. Nine more questions, anybody? Where we at? Oh, there we go. What's up, buddy? If I was president, the first thing I would do is get rid of bathrooms with a man and a half of a woman on it. Because the last thing I want is my seven-year-old being in the bathroom with some man <laughs> who identifies as a fucking woman. That shit baffles me. I got your vote. Thank you, man. 2024 out of this bitch. Start the campaign right now. You be my VP? Hell yeah, man. Fucking, what's up, buddy? If I met Joe Biden, I'd probably tell that nigga to sit down, perhaps. <laughs> Joe Biden is a piece of shit, bro. He's a, he's a fucking pawn, dog. He's a goddamn pawn. Let's go, Brandon. That, that's how stupid he is. Let's go, Brandon. Look, I, I, I honestly think like the Dems, the left, were uh, scrambling, and uh, they had to cook up a lot of shit. And uh, being from Georgia, I do not believe that they flipped Georgia. I'm gonna just be real. I, 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 I'm, I'm out and about amongst people too much to believe that Georgia was flipped. So they did a lot of trickery to get uh, my boy Trump out, and I, uh, I believe the reason they got him out is because he was shaking shit up. Because at the end of the day, I feel like, what's the word? I don't feel like Trump was a Republican. I feel like he was more of a conservative at heart, but a libertarian. I don't feel like he, yeah. I don't, I don't feel like he was controlled by, yeah, I don't feel like he was controlled by either sides, and that made him very dangerous because he didn't listen, he didn't listen to the right, and he didn't listen to the left. He did what he thought, he spoke his mind, and at the end of the day, he had hella money. <laughs> so when people have their own money, it's hard, you know, to in influence them with money. He didn't even take a salary. He definitely, uh, he definitely made people pay attention to politics, and to a certain extent, he made people pay attention to politics. I feel like he made people pay attention to his antics. Not necessarily his politics, because if people paid attention to his politics, they would have never voted Biden in. <laughs> Honestly. 
who did vote him in? I mean, when you <clears throat> when you have a guy like Trump who's uh, making uh, you know uh, different tax breaks for people with like he hated corporations. So he was making different tax breaks for people with small businesses, us everyday people, not these fucking moguls that already have tons of money. And he was making, you know, America a power again by making, uh, you know, less, less, less imports and more exports on a domestic field. Yeah, yeah. What's up, buddy? My favorite hairstyle. I don't know if y'all watch my YouTube, but if you go see uh, the video where I was with Burt Kreischer, I have, uh, I have two braids and I have like these plaits in the front. It hurt like hell, but that was my favorite hairstyle. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Kill Tony all the way. Kill Tony for life. What's up? When did Balenciaga start making big t-shirts? <laughs> so let me answer the question and then I'll roast him. <laughs> so Balenciaga specializes in oversized clothes, right? So I can fit it because I'm oversized. Like, if you see a lot of Asian girls, they wear oversized T-shirts. Now, to counter that, uh, you need to stop jacking off in a suntanning bed. <laughs> this motherfucker, a, a sunburn, turn him on. That make his dick hard. <laughs> Who we got in the back? I'll probably be a musician. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, I love music, yeah. I, I, I play the guitar a little bit in the piano, yeah. I love country music. Let me see if y'all know this song. Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots and ruined your black tie affair. The last one, uh, the last one. I was the last one you thought you'd see there. And I saw a surprise and a fear in his when I took his glass of champagne. I toasted you, said, honey, we may be, but you'll never hear me complain, because I got friends in low place where the, in the, my blues away. There we go. Ow. Yeah, we can. <laughs> yeah. All right, take like three more. There we go. What's going on? What do I think about what happened with Chappelle? Uh, so I live in L.A. and we know that the district attorney Garson is a bitch. And um, yeah, a misdemeanor. So here's the thing. He had a replica gun and he had a knife that folded out from the gun, kind of like the old school days when they had the knives that came out of the guns. A, I think because of his financial circumstances, I don't think he could afford that ticket to sit front row. So I do believe, and I'm not a big conspiracy theorist, but it just makes sense that the LGBTQ bought his ticket and planted that on him to do that. It only makes sense to me. And uh, what I think would happen to Dave Chappelle uh, is what, hap what should happen to anybody who runs on stage during a comedian set. Because while I'm on stage, you know, this is my domain, you know, this is my castle. And at the end of the day, I got to defend my domain. So I'm glad that his friends beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I'm glad that his friends beat the fuck out of him. And I, I honestly, uh, you know, when you do shit like that, bro, I have no sympathy for you. I don't, huh? Tony hits. Tony Hinchcliffe actually likes pussy, believe it or not. <laughs> this next guy coming to the stage, <laughs> you know him as. <laughs> 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 
right. Two more questions. What up? What we got? Okay. Yes. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> what, what, is there a follow up to that? Uh, I met Steve Harvey back when I used to write for a, a court TV show called Swift Justice. It was owned by uh, Byron Allen. And I met him on the studio of that, of that TV show I wrote. Uh, do, I, do I like him as a stand-up comedian? You, what, what's the follow-up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, two more, two more. What we got right here? Nagasaki, Japan. <laughs> That's probably my favorite overseas venture. It's an island off of uh, Japan. It was dope as fuck, and uh, they got real small pussies, so. <laughs> Last question, make it a good one. Who got one? What we got right there, buddy? You want to roast battle me? <laughs> Hey, stand up. Give me, give me, give me. Now, who am I, who am I roast battling? I, uh, hit me with a roast battle, dog. Bro, I'm the famous nigga. <laughs> Your daddy got to give you jokes? Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down, dad. You, yeah, you look like you jack off the pizzas come out of the oven videos. I can't believe this guy, yeah. Hey, sit down, you fucking gender neutral AC Slater. <laughs> Saved by the gay bell. <laughs> any, any, anybody else I didn't get, I'm trying to, anybody? Okay, we got one in the back, what's up, doggy? <laughs> Is that it? All right, man, y'all have a good night. I love y'all.